Hi guys, welcome back to Morality Site. How are you guys doing today? I hope good. Please, if you are following me for the first time on this channel and you have not yet subscribed, please show me love by pressing that subscribing button. Give me a thumbs up. For my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you for your love. Thank you for encouraging me. Yes, in today's video, I want to talk about a true leader. You no, know, a leader is not made, but it is born. Leaders are born, they are not made. Yes, you can see a true leader who has the feelings about the poor masses. You can see a true leader, one who has concern about the people plight. You can see a true leader, one who listens to the common people. One who give attention to the poor masses. One who heal to their cries whenever they call. One who takes himself down. One who put himself in that same situation. That is the quality of a leader. You can see a true leader. People like Donald Trump. I call him God's son to the United States. A leader who fears God. A leader who takes the people's plight as a priority to his government. Yes. By you opening churches. See, America needs God more than ever before. Now the people of America need God. And that is why say, all churches should be opened. So that people should go and worship their God. I see the mark of a good leadership in you. I, I see the mark of a leadership. One who has the interest of the people. It's not about himself, but about the goods of the people. The happiness of the people. Today I'm identifying houses of worship churches, synagogue, and mosques as essential places that provide essential services. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. I call upon governors to allow our churches and places of worship to open right now. If there's any question, they're going to have to call me, but they're not going to be successful in that call. These are places that hold our society together and keep our people united. The people are demanding to go to church and synagogue, go to their mosque. Many millions of Americans embrace worship as an essential part of life. The ministers, pastors, rabbis, imams, and other faith leaders will make sure that their congregations are safe as they gather and pray. I know them well. They love their congregations. They love their people. They don't want anything bad to happen to them or to anybody else. The governors need to do the right thing and allow these very important essential places of faith to open right now for this weekend. If they don't do it, I will override the governors. In America, we need more prayer, not less. Thank you very much. Thank you. Again. I see a mark of a good leadership on the governor of Cross River State in Nigeria. Ben Hayade is a man of the people. He feels the pains of the common masses. He feels the pains of a common Crossiberians. He knows he's a man of the people. He's a good leader. Yes, that is, at times we don't know who is a good leader. A leader whom abolish laws in order that they should suit a common man, a common peasant farmer, a common businessman, 
a surviving business firm that is trying to put his feet in the light. And you no, know, the government comes to encourage, the government comes to promote, the government comes to give assistance. That is why we see in the governor of Cross River State. I wish other governors in Nigeria, I wish other leaders take such example. It's something worth. That is why in morality side, when we see something that is good, we need to let the world know. We need to encourage people to emulate those who are trying to make our society to be a better place. Yes, Governor Ben Ayade, I say kudos. Morality side applauded their effort to make the Crossiberians to enjoy the fruit of their labor. A common farmer, a common businessman, a cardaman, a taxi driver who cannot feed the family, but here at least is paying taxes to the gov to the state government. And you are here to hear their plight, to listen to their cry, and to say, enough is enough. And you share tears to show that you feel the pains of your citizens. You feel the pains of your population. That is what makes a good leader. A leader who, who, who comes to the aid of his people, listen to the cry of his people, and give them what he can do. You are indeed a good leader. We implore you to know that your responsibility from today going forward is to put an end to illegal taxes on people. We have a tax law here that prescribes those who are exempted from tax. All those categories of people and those that from time to time may be so announced by the government, including every single hotel that has less than 50 rooms in Calabar and in the whole state, today are exempted from payment of tax. We have exempted all Okada drivers, taxi drivers, airport taxi drivers. We have exempted small salon owners, small catering and restaurant points, Mama Put, eatery points, all those small, small basic survivor people selling of produce, struggling to earn a living. They have been exempted today from paying tax. We have exempted them because it is better for me as a governor that I rather task my brain than to tax my people. Great perseverance, you have the right for anybody who comes before you to demand tax. You have the right to say, stop, the governor has said we should not pay tax. Why will a small person carry banana from his farm to go and sell and produce people are there taxing him for produce? Why will somebody carry granite to go to market and somebody is putting a checkpoint on the road and collecting money from the granite seller? This is not Ben Ayade, this is not my nature. I am not wired for this insensitivity to a weaker person. I have abolished produce tax. Let farmers earn their money, let them keep their money. Because you didn't give them fertilizer, you did not irrigate the soil, you did not prepare the soil for them, you did not do the land clearing for them. Why do you want to tax them? Why do you put pressure on that, your small brother or sister, whose situation is much worse? Why will we expect that people who don't have scholarship for their children who don't have good schools, they struggle to pay, struggle with the uniforms, struggle to have security in their small businesses, struggle to get water with their borehole, struggle with generator, and government is providing almost nothing to come back to such people and tax them. I, I think this is the greatest injustice. I never knew that five years into office as governor, I would still find somebody who could live in a tax house in Crossroads. I almost crying because I knew how prepared I was, but it, it didn't end the way I had dreamt for the state. And I, I just think that somewhere God will just help me because I really wish I could really help. Yeah. I really wish I could help. It's very painful, truly, truly. I can't put five years and I've not been able to do the change I wished. I'm a pillar. And so I pick only men of God and women of God to serve here. I charge you that by the time you are done, let your agency be a world-class example for other states and countries to emulate. If God sees into my heart, let him take every single wealth I have, if he can make every single cross rich. If he can take every single cross out of poverty, let Ben Ayade and the Ayades, let us be poor for cross to be comfortable. Yes, you bear with me. 
these two great gentlemen, Donald Trump of the United States, Ben Ayadi of Cross River State, Nigeria, they have done so marvelous job when it comes to governing their people. When it comes to the plight of their people. Yes, doesn't mean that by so doing they don't have their own flaws or they don't have their own weak points. They do, but their achievements, their contributions in the society is something so wonderful, something so encouraging, something that morality side cannot sit quiet without encouraging them. Let us try to let our leaders see what a good governance should be. Let our society see what our people need. Yes, a leadership is trust by those who are trustworthy. Dear friends, lovers of morality side, let us continue to encourage and promote those who are struggling to make our society to be a better place for all of us. If you are following me for the first time on this channel and you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Share and comment how you feel about this video. See you again in another video. Bye-bye.